know that the establishment of Israel was just and necessary. We cannot relent, we cannot yield, and as president, I will never compromise when it comes to Israel. And I will bring to the White House an unshakable commitment to Israel's security. For the first time in APEC history, we'll be holding lobbying meetings with all 100 senators and every single member of the House of Representatives. We recognize all those who have worked so hard to foster a strong U.S.-Israel relationship. Our friends in the United States Congress. Tomorrow, APEC citizen activists will be part of our largest lobby day in history with a record 530 meetings on Capitol Hill, including all 100 Senate offices. Israel has been a steadfast ally of the United States. How crucial is the friendship between our two countries? I am very proud to be here today to join with you as we stand in support and solidarity with the state of Israel. Israel is our most important ally in the Middle East and always will be. Our strong ally, Israel. It really doesn't matter who's speaking. Republican or Democrat because we're speaking with one voice. When the chips are down, I have Israel's back. Israel, beyond any shadow of a doubt, is a stalwart friend and ally of the United States. Stand without equivocation, shoulder to shoulder with our friend, the state of Israel. How can you not fall in love with this place? This little country called Israel with the hopes and dreams of Zionism, is protected, survives, and grows throughout the 21st century. Closest allies, Israel. Any attack on Israel will be treated as an attack on the United States. Idle interest that we share with the state of Israel. The Israeli-American relationship is one of the most important ones we have, and certainly our commitment to that, that partnership is bipartisan, and it should remain that way. America needs a strong Israel. Israel is our staunchest ally in a volatile part of the world. We cannot now turn our back on Israel. It's the responsibility of the Senate to also be a champion for Israel. I think it is so important that our greatest democracy in the Middle East uh, has uh, unbelievable support from New York, hand-in-hand support, uh, support that does not waver. Our fundamental securities are intertwined. Our national security is intertwined with Israel's. And so, for example, we have a resolution from last week that basically says we will stand by Israel, both economically and militarily. We are the most natural of allies, like Israel itself. That alliance is forever. I support the nation of Israel. Moral obligation and a national security obligation to have close ties with the state of We have an opportunity here in America, particularly the Christian coalition, to, to really rally to Israel's side. What's most important of all is for Israel to know that the United States and the West is clearly in their corner. The support for the state of Israel, the last bipartisan relationship in the United States Congress. What Israel needs to know is that the United States of America will be standing with it shoulder to shoulder without a ray of sunlight between us. You know, there's a lot more to Israel than just being a little democracy in the Middle East. Our most important Ally. This is not a partisan issue, folks. There is no difference between the parties when it comes to support for Israel. Both parties support Israel. The United States and Israel stay together like this. I rise today to also stand beside our ally and friend, Israel. It has been the privilege of my life to work with so many of you. look at the two wars that the United States finds herself in and on the cusp of at least two others and all of this for the benefit of a of a certain foreign uh, a country uh, sitting on the eastern shores of the Mediterranean Sea they have been wildly successful at, at bringing all of this about and I think one of the main components of this is the fact that very few people really understand the nature of the problem and I think that your article here basically lays out the problem, which is, is that when you have people 
who try to make this claim that they are loyal to America and at the same time loyal to a foreign government, it is a lie. It is, and it's more, th it's more than that, Mark. What, what we need to stand up and say is not only did they attack the USS Liberty, they did 9-11. Mm -hmm. They did it. I, am, I have had long conversations over the past two weeks with contacts at the Army War College, at its headquarters Marine Corps, and I've made it absolutely clear in both cases that it is 100% certain that 9-11 was a Mossad operation, mm -hmm. period.